Hola, I'm Laura Catena from Catena Zapata in Luca, and I'm here to tell you everything about Malbec, my country, Argentina's flagship variety. Now, many people think that Malbec might be a young variety because they only just heard about it. But actually, Malbec is a 2,000-year-old variety that dates back to France and was first identified by the Roman soldiers who went through Cahors, where it was born. Then Eleanor of Aquitaine, the court of love. This is the famous queen that was married first to a French king, then to an English king. So she was queen of France and then England. And then after Eleanor, Malbec was famous at the court of Francis I. And Francis I loved Malbec. He was around in the Renaissance. He called Malbec le plant du roi, which means the plant of the king. And everywhere he went, from his Fontainebleau castle to Burgundy, where you plant Pinot Noir, he actually had them plant Malbec because he loved Malbec so much. And the other interesting thing about Francis I is that he was the patron of Leonardo da Vinci. And he is why the Mona Lisa is in France, because he purchased the piece of art from Leonardo da Vinci. Now, after Francis I, Malbec went to Bordeaux. Now Bordeaux is the place where the famous Grand Cru's, the first growths are grown. You have Boyac, you have Medoc, famous wines like Chateau Lafitte, Chateau Latour, Chateau Margaux, Chateau Cheval Blanc. Now these wines in the 18th and 19th century had a very large percentage of Malbec. It could range from 10% to 60% in some places like saint Emilion. And Malbec was considered absolutely necessary for the blend because it softened the Cabernet tannins. The Cabernet was considered to be very tannic and it needed the soft Malbec tannins, which came along with this beautiful texture and color, the dark color, to make the Cabernet taste better. And that's why these uh, chateaus in, in France had so much Malbec in their blend. Now, when Phylloxera came, in the late 1800s and decimated the vineyards in Europe, not just France, but Spain and Italy, Malbec was replaced. Now that's because they had what they called global cooling. And Malbec is a late ripening variety and they weren't sure that with global cooling it would still ripen. And also Malbec is a very delicate variety. So if you have a couple of cold days, the yields go way down. The French were worried about this. So they said, yes, we love Malbec. It has the soft, smooth tannins, but we're gonna replace it with more Cabernet and with Merlot, which ripens earlier. And that's how Malbec almost completely disappeared in Europe. Even Cahors, the native, you know, birthplace of Malbec, almost disappeared. There were almost no vineyards planted there. When we had in Argentina, you know, over 100,000 acres of Malbec, there was almost none of it in Europe. That was in the 1960s. Now, Malbec had gone to Argentina before Phylloxera in 1852, and it just grew well in Argentina. My father says he asked his grandfather, Nicola Catena, the Italian, why did you plant Malbec? And he said, I just planted it because it grew better than anything else and it made the best wine. Now, the interesting thing about the Malbec we have in Argentina that's very different from the Malbec they have now in France is that all the populations of Malbec, the diversity of Malbec, came to Argentina in the middle of the 19th century and almost disappeared in France. So today, the vineyards in France are planted with a variety called Cot, which has these long bunches and bigger berries and more rustic tannins. And in Argentina, we have a smaller kind of Malbec and also a larger. We just have a huge diversity of Malbec. And that is the population of Malbec that was planted in France hundreds of years ago, which has now disappeared in France because they only have a few different, less than 10 clones, which are single selections of Cote, which is a kind of Malbec. So in terms of diversity, Argentina definitely has the older genetic material than France. The other thing about Argentina is that we plant our vines mostly own rooted. What that means is that the vine, the Vitis vinifera, you know this, is planted directly on the soil. And the root system is all from a Vitis vinifera, which is a you know Cabernet Sauvignon, a Malbec, a Merlot. In France, in Europe, in the United States, and most of the world, they have to plant on rootstocks, on American rootstocks, which are tougher plants that can withstand the threat of phylloxera and nematodes. And then on those American rootstocks, they graft the Malbec or the Cabernet Sauvignon or the other Vitis vinifera. In Argentina, we are own rooted, which is basically the way the world planted for 6,000 years until phylloxera came at the end of the 19th century. So again, Argentina is more like the old world that we talk about old being time. 
than the New World. And today, it's thanks to Malbec that my country, Argentina, is famous for its wine. And also, my family, my great-grandfather Nicola Catena came to Argentina at the end of the 19th century and the first variety he planted was Malbec. And my father is known as the person who revived and, and caused the renaissance of Malbec in the world. And, you know, I often think of Malbec and Argentina as a marriage made in heaven. It just works.